Welcome back to the shop at Drawbridge Props and Armory. My name is Levi Woods and I'm a prop builder. Today you can watch us build four medieval shields using plank construction technique. Starting from a stack of 1x4s, we quickly rip a 5 degree angle off the edge, leaving the original manufactured edge on the face of the shield. 5 degrees seems to work out well because on a 21 to 24 inch shield, you get a decent curve that not only looks right, isn't too curved for an actor to wear. Careful that you don't put the biscuits in an incorrect spot. On these particular shields, I've decided to put a central ridge, which means that when I put the biscuits in, I have to offset them to one side of the board. We're going to glue them together to create a curved shield. As I go along, I like to vinegaroon the pieces individually, and what that does is it creates a more naturally aged look of your final shield and gives a bit of variation between each individual plank as we're creating it. After the glue is somewhat dried, I can cut out these ridges just to accentuate the fact that these are indeed planks that we've used to construct the shield. When it's fully glued together, we can take it over to the bandsaw and cut out the final shape of our shield. The next thing we're going to do is sand all the edges and add a little bit of teching just to make them a little bit worn. We're pretty rough with this process to try to give it a handmade feel. After that, another little technique just to make some carriage bolts look like they're handmade. We'll just pop them into one of our anvils and then hammer the top of them. It removes the embossed numbers off the top and gives it a hammer made feel. But since these are zinc coated carriage bolts, it's really easy for us to blacken them. We just throw them into a blackening solution for a few minutes, rinse them off, and ta-da, blackened carriage bolts. The scene in the show that we were building these shields for actually required a couple different types of shields for different armies. So there was a quick shot in the shop of the other shields that we were also building, which I'll showcase in some other upcoming videos. So please subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing the construction of those other shields. The next step that we're doing is we're starting to put on some of the color for these shields. And uh, all four of these are gonna be this dark red and black color. Now that we've got the shields all painted up, it's time to move on to the strapping. So I'm cutting from a latigo side a bunch of straps and now just figuring out about how much space I need for, for your hand to fit, for the actor to wear it comfortably. And, you know, there's a general rule of thumb to these things, but uh, each project is slightly different and every shield is different. So using calipers, laying out the strapping and trying to keep it at a reasonable angle. Um, the more vertical your grip is on these shields, the easier it is to hold. So after that, we drill some holes, pop the carriage bolts in and these carriage bolts, I always buy the correct length if I can so that we don't have to cut them and just speeds up the process a little bit. And you don't need much of the carriage bolt sticking out to be able to pin it down and hold that strap on. So using a washer and here's the shields all strapped up. And the next thing we're going to have to do is put on some aging. So. Like all movie props, I like to do a three-stage aging process. So the first stage was the vinegaroon. Then we're doing a black wax to try to give some aging. And once that dries, we'll do a pass of brown wax. And finally, on the front, after the wax, we're doing a spray to give it like a salt spray look. And in all their glory, here's the four finished shields. If you're interested in seeing some other videos on shield construction or prop building, please subscribe to my channel and please give us the thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching.